The Gladsteins, a prosperous American family, possessed a grand and elegant home. As accomplished members of the real estate sector, Marilyn and Peter led a luxurious lifestyle, complete with every comfort and convenience. Their children, who had grown accustomed to only the highest quality possessions and luxuries, exemplified the American dream to many outsiders. Despite their outward appearance of success, the Gladsteins were hiding a dark secret. They were involved in illegal activity related to animal abuse, and in 2012 they were apprehended and charged with their crimes. The authorities raided the house and found dozens of neglected animals, including dogs, cats, horses and many more. As a result, Marilyn and Peter were given eight years of imprisonment and their family was left in disarray. The grand and beautiful house that was once a symbol of their success and wealth now stood empty, a ghost of its former self. The children, who were once so privileged, were now left to pick up the pieces of their shattered lives. Their once bright future had been taken away in an instant, and they were forced to come to terms with the consequences of their parents' actions. The Gladsteins thought they had it all, but their illegal actions led to their downfall. Their once luxurious home now serves as a shilling reminder of the consequences of one's choices. I'm really enjoying myself out here, bro. The weather out here is way better oh, than out in Canada. For sure. Absolutely. Welcome back everybody to the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie, behind the camera, like usual, Danny. He doesn't like it when I'm showing him. Hello, hello. Let's show him anyway. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping me film. Welcome. And we are here today to make another epic exploration. Where are we, bro? We are, right now, we are in a field of a, a field. big mansion. Mysterious mansion. Cinderella mansion, I would say. A wonder mansion. It's, it's, it's all good anecdotes, but I also find a very disturbing mention by the story that you just heard. Yeah. These people were at first very good people. They had a good life, they had a real estate business, but after that business got, got to decline, everything went south and you heard the story. They were in a big animal abuse scandal. Yeah. Oh, just thinking about it, Danny, just... Uh, it's sad, it's sad. The story, I'm, I'm, it's terrible. I don't have respect for these people at all. They yeah. came out of prison a couple of years ago, but I absolutely don't have respect. Normally I have a lot of respect for the owners of abandoned properties, but in this one, I'm so sorry. I'm still going to treat the house with respect, but the people, they were awful. I think we should think about the daughter that yeah. they had instead of them. Yeah. Because the story and the things inside of the daughter are that's, just... That's, that's just beautiful. Beautiful. Look at this. We're standing here at their pool area. They covered the complete pool up probably to protect animals from falling into it when the people got into prison. But uh, as you can see, they had a wonderful pool, lovely stone around it, and there's even still water inside of there. Wow. I'm gonna let me take you around the property and let me show you everything that these people left behind when they got to prison in 2012. Okay, they had an enormous property, literally enormous. Yeah. Look at this over here. Doesn't this remind you of something, Danny? Oh, yeah, the fountains the fount. in Portugal. Yeah, the fountains. Be careful. You think there's oh, something? Oh, no, 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 it's concrete. You yeah, can't it's, go. You can it's go. concrete. Yeah. It, should be, it should be okay. A little outside fountain where they could set up some chairs over here and enjoy this wonderful piece in their garden. It's wow. amazing. I love the, the springtime right now. Yeah. It's beautiful. What day is it today? The 4th of April. Yeah. Like the, the flowers are starting to bloom, the, the, the birds are starting to chirp and it's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. To be out exploring now. 
this these time of this time of the year spring and autumn for me are the best times to explore oh yeah not too hot not too cold nice outside everything is beautiful and yeah that just makes it awesome i also love winter and spring but in summer uh, summer and and, and uh, winter the winter is mostly too cold so yeah. makes it a little bit less enjoyable and the summer is mostly too hot but... <laughs> okay down to the left side of us we can see a glimpse of the mansion already that we're going to, going to explore. But back here are also some interesting structures, some interesting buildings. Those were the garages of the house. These people were enormously wealthy. In the boat of these garages, five cars could fit. But during their time of animal abuse, they were just trying to make money with animals. But they converted their garages into shelters for the animals. And shelters. Yeah, shelters, shelters between, between brackets. Quot yeah. Quotation marks, yeah, exactly. In here, the police together, the animal workers, found two horses inside of this very small space. The horses were in such a bad condition that you could see their bones. They were famine. How, how do you call this? They, they weren't fed. They weren't the, fat at all. Yeah, and this is a, a way too small space for two exactly. horses. Like two the horses, horses need to move around. Two horses were inside of here. You can even see still some remains of it. But absolutely insane, man. I'm such a Are big you, animal lover and for me this is very hard yeah, to tell. Yeah, I feel like you're... Yeah. Let's see, there's some more... Archer... Uh, 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 Do you want to take a, a break? Uh, that, that, this is so... Like the story for me, Danny, oh my gosh. I know, I Normally know. Normally, always so good at telling a story, but this time it's, yeah, it gets me, it really gets me. I think, I think we can see that in your voice. Yeah. It's a sad one. Okay. Sorry, I need to go out of here. You have seen it and let's move on to the next section. Yeah. There's even still a little kennel for a dog left outside of here. 83 animals. 80, 83? 83 animals were found inside of this oh house. My. Yeah. Two horses, a bunch of cats, and all of the rest of the animals were dogs. Animal feces were found everywhere. Dogs would be crammed inside of the house, crammed inside of these spaces. It was absolutely horrible. You can see here Another the makeshift fence. space, makeshift cage for the dogs. You can see two kennels in here. Here a couple of dogs were housed, probably a lot of them. Yeah. Not a dog kennel down here. You call that what? A dog kennel. A dog house. Dog house. <laughs> dog kennel. Dog kennel. <laughs> the house. Wow, but the house itself is absolutely magnificent. You can see immediately these people were wealthy and rich. Back in the time when they had a real estate business, when they were making good money, they, they purchased this house. Probably even built it themselves. I don't know the exact time they started to live here, but it's so fascinating to see. Here we have those other three garage ports to the side. And of course in here, more animals warehoused. Okay, you can come inside. You turn on some light. You can still see. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. Big, big mess inside of here. And it smells. Yeah. Oh no, no, don't breathe too much. No, it's terrible to see. There's nothing much to see in here, but we also believe that in this space, multiple animals were abused. I just saw something in the corner of my eye. Did you see this? It looks like some sort of a bunker. What? I want to show. I want to show the people. You're going to go? Yeah, of course I'm going to go, bro. I'm an explorer. I think Very for the looks of it, it looks for the water, but... Or for the pool of some sort. Oh, yeah. yeah probably for the pool. Take it. Yeah, you can see all the waterworks, all the piping and everything, plumbing. Most likely for the pool. It's even a big machine left to the side here. I'm not sure the use case for that one. Give me back. Oh, yeah. Okay, bro. Oh, I almost fall. I'm <laughs> Watch okay. Out. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, you fall. Yeah, it's slippery. Yeah, I slipped over this little plant pot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's slippery because of the dirt. Okay, let's go out of here. Let's take a walk to the front of the house. Let's show that. Because I think it's absolutely magnificent to see. Completely made out of wood. I would say if I compare it to a European country, it's a very Swedish slash Norwegian style of building. But oh, we yeah. encountered this more and more over here in the north of the United States. Wow. This place is absolutely enormous. It's massive. Yeah. And they're in the complete middle of nowhere. Like yeah. the first neighbor, the neighbor that actually uh, caught them doing their animal abuse lives like a couple hundred meters down there. But for the rest, there's almost no neighbors around here. We are in the middle of nowhere, literally. <sighs> it's the wonderful front door of the house. Now completely boarded up. You can see the woodwork on there. Yeah, it has some beautiful colors. Yeah, absolutely. This is brown, right? Or yeah, green? brown, brown. It's lovely. And I just hate it that they completely boarded it up like that. They're trying to sell the house right now. And I have talked to somebody that wants to buy the house. And they're now in the process of acquiring this place. So luckily, hopefully in the future, this wonderful mansion gets restored. I hope. And, in and I'm in contact with the owner that's probably going to buy it. So maybe we can get a look afterwards when it's renovated. That's nice. I hope the mansion oh. inside is not too much destroyed. Me neither. Because I've seen some pictures and yeah. I don't think so though. Because it's, it's boarded up well. Yeah, yeah. All of this are windows. There's one entrance into the place. But what I also saw here in the backyard, this is one of my favorite features of the house. So they had a little oh. girl and this was her dollhouse her life-size dollhouse and I absolutely adore this literally everything every single detail of this dollhouse has been thought about even a little fence around her garden oh. out here have a look at that, that is lovely the curtains still hanging on the door dollhouse I love the green shutters on there and everything I'm curious if they even still function no I've, I've noticed uh, in this part okay. of the state that the shutters are fake. No, even in real oh, houses. Yeah, they are. Even in real houses, the shutters are fake. I've noticed they that. They never closed them. Oh, it's not used. Okay, I'm gonna take the people inside of there yeah. and show them the insides of this little tall house. Oh my God. <laughs> There's still furniture in here. Isn't that just fascinating? A rocking chair. A little mirror standing there in the corner. Oh, Danny, come have a look inside of here. Have you seen this already? Do I fit? Yeah, you can come into the, into the house. Oh. <laughs> I believe wow. that the little girl used to sleep in here as well. And yeah, sometimes, yeah. The playtime she had in here must have been wonderful. Wow. The parents definitely did take good care of their children. Oh, yeah. As she can of the see. daughter, yeah. Of course, they spoiled her, like, <laughs> yeah. but they did take good care of the children. I'm very happy to see that. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready to head over to the house and let's uh, film that beauty. Oh, this is too small for me. Okay. And here we come to the back side of the house. Again, a very wonderful sight. Danny, have you ever seen a house like this before? For me, this is a first, this, yeah. this style of architecture with the channels on the side, lovely woodwork. Okay, over there is our only entrance inside of the place and I'm ready to take it on. I'm ready go. to go inside of there. Okay. You wanna go first? Thank you. Let's see. Oh, I think we're ending up the dining area right here. We can already see a little bit of vandalism and stuff like that inside of the house. And DK. And Look DK at, as well, yeah. Look at the old... 10 old years paint. of abandonment. In 2012, when the people went to prison, everything got left behind. 
in an instant. Nobody was here anymore and 10 years it got to start decaying. They had a lovely dining area over here. A big one. The whole family could come here. Yeah. Eight people, everybody could enjoy the house, could enjoy this property and could have a lovely dinner over here. I always love to see like you can see the paint fall, fell from the ceiling and landed over here on the table. Wow, bro, I'm stunned already. I'm stunned already. Look at this. <laughs> There's broken pieces of Yeah, there. a lot of vandals. I love this cabinet though. The way the it's design made. of it, yeah. With the iron work. Wow. Annie, I want you to have these flowers. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. But one thing over here, have a look at this. I think this is Peter and Mary Lynn uh, for Halloween. These were the former owners of the place. Let's see pictures. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I know there are Peter and Mary Lynn. Oh, yeah, oh, of, yeah course. of course. yeah. Here's That's their daughter the with them. They had more children, but this was their youngest daughter. The other children already moved out of the house. And I think she was still here at the time that the animal abuse happened. Oh, and it must have been terrible. God. For her. Absolutely terrible. I don't know what happened to the daughter, and I also don't know what happened to her when the parents went to prison, but I hope she's well. I definitely do. Oh my god! What? I... Oh my god, no. There's power? What? No, 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 that's creepy. What? What is... There are what? Christmas lights. There are Christmas lights in the kitchen area. Oh no, I don't want to go in. I'm just gonna have a little bit. That's creepy. It's 10 years abandoned and the power is still functioning. The people that live here definitely don't pay for the power. I'm just gonna turn off the lights so you guys yeah. can see. This is creepy. And especially the green ones. Yeah, the green ones are... Oh my God. Let's see if there's not a power bank of some sort. No, it's just, just the it's outlet. It's plugged? It's just the outlet. Look at that, it's just oh the God. outlet. I thought it might have been a power bank from an explorer of some sort, but no. The power in this place still functions. Absolutely no. crazy. It's <laughs> crazy, yeah, it's crazy. They always say that the Americans that watch my video or people from the United States that watch my video always say like, wow, Leslie, it's, it's amazing that in some places in Europe, the power still runs. But I've seen it so many times now in the United yeah. States. Yeah. It's not a fluke. It's not a fluke. Like a lot of places in the United States, the power is still working. And I think it's definitely provided by the government of some sort. Or they're just not paying for the power, I don't know. I don't know. Here we have a kitchen that's unfortunately completely destroyed. But yeah. I can see some interesting things lying over here on the floor. These are, these are not the people that lived in here. This is not the girl, this is not the young girl. And these two are not inhabitants of the place. But there might have been a family of the Gladsteins. What's that? Oh, oh two puppies. Two puppies, yeah. Oh, my God. I... Oh, bro, I... <sighs> I, 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 I... Yeah. No, there are photos of puppies. Bro... Oh, my God. Oh, it's no. terrible. I, yeah, it, it feels terrible looking at it. Here we got a picture of a balloon. Even more pictures lying here on the floor. A Pepsi balloon. <laughs> okay. Wow. It's insane. Look at that. The whole ceiling has collapsed. Chandelier. There's, yeah, there's a chandelier in here. It even still has an etiquette hanging from it. Oh my gosh. Seems like it's just brand new. Still hanging up here. And there's also a stairway up here that can lead you to the top floor. But we're not going to take that one. I know that there's a bigger stairway inside of this place. Okay, let's go further back to that side. Time for the hallway right now. Here is the grand entrance of the house. And I just told you about the stairway, the other stairway. And here we have this wonderful twisting stairway that goes to the top floor. Can I just say one thing? Of course, bro. Uh, just to let people know, let's ignore the destruction yeah. of this house because there's vandals and... I would say these are local uh, youth that come here to destroy That's the right. place. Yeah, they know yeah. the story, so yeah. Yeah, they know that nobody gives anything about this place. And they just come here, they even destroyed the railing of the stairway. 
But enough talk about destruction, let's focus on the beauty of this place because it also has a lot of beauty and I just want to bring that out. Here's the front door that we were just standing in front of. Wow, there's also a basement that we'll go in there later. Have a look at this. And then behind you, Danny, we have the wonderful entrance hall. This whole room over here, they used only as an entrance hall. And as you can see on the table, it's completely filled with pictures. The first one that you have over oh. here is already very interesting. This is the front door that we were just in front of. Wow. And you can see the house was white. What? Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Yeah. But they painted another color later on. Here we have our beloved Marilyn. And the person you saw over here is, of course, Peter and then Marilyn and their daughter. And here she was still very young. Yeah. See, oh, look at this. So many pictures left in here. Here's <laughs> Peter <laughs> and this bed. <laughs> Rope on the bed. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, there's oh. a picture of that daughter inside of her room. Oh, my gosh. And here she is again, of course, in the backyard. She's such a beautiful girl, Lenny. Oh, my God. Wow. I hope she's well. Looks like a princess. Yeah, she does. And this is probably a school picture of her. That's so lovely. Even the film rolls and everything they ever captured is still left in here. What do we have over here? No, the wedding pictures. That's always, whenever I find wedding pictures, bro, I'm stunned. Like, even though these people went to prison, this should never be left behind inside of an abandoned yeah. place. I get it, they are bad people, but still, these are their memories and they should be saved. They look in love. Peter and Marilyn. Look at them. Marilyn herself. And Peter, down there. <laughs> Even that credit card. Of course. <laughs> the hallway still has some very nice furniture, I would say. Oh, yeah. I love these seats that we have over here. You know what they remind me of? Not this one that we have here, but the one on the other side of the room reminds me of a Portuguese bench. Oh, yeah. And I always say, like, the division between the, the, the rests of the seat makes it that it yeah. looks like a Portuguese bench. Two chairs Two stuck chair. together. Yep. I will link a video up there of a place that has a couple of these. And I absolutely love that place. We have to explore again in Portugal. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> when we get back from the United States, bro, we're exploring all over the world. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's absolutely insane. Let's go into the next room. Oh, oh this one has a lot god. of decay. Oh, oh my god! It has only been ten years. Only been ten years, and look at the devastation inside of this room. We had a wonderful sitting area over here with this secretary desk and everything left behind. But destruction and nature has taken it over. The people that bought this place are going to have a lot of work. Oh, yeah. The restoration process. I, I, well, I'm sorry, I'm speechless. I'm this, this room. I'm walking on the ceiling here. I'm literally walking on the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. But then, Danny. Whoa. Completely decayed wing piano. It's beautiful, but at the same time, it's so much decay. No, yeah. Oh my God. Everything is just falling apart parts. on this piece. Yeah. The strings have broken. Oh no, the strings have completely rusted in here. No, of course, this was play. not going to play. Yeah. Nah. Not at all, but wow. I, I love the beauty in decay always. Yeah. It's sad to see all this wonderful furniture get to waste, but... Yeah, it's been lost, yeah. It's in my name, Rose of DK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we have this fireplace right in front of us here. Sorry to say. The, the colors look yeah, ugly. The colors are ugly. Yeah. I think this was painted like a bunch of times. Yeah. Because you can see... It used to be white. white. Yeah. It used to be white, exactly. And oh, also over here, you can see the white behind. Oh, so the this red. was all white. This whole room was white, yeah. And a couple of last pieces of wood are still in the fireplace from the last time the people were in front of here. And 
this must have been from the daughter. A wonderful chair, children's chair, a high chair you would call it, but then a miniature version of it. Just gonna put it nicely besides the stove over here. I even love how detailed this one is. You can see there's a little drawing up in the seat rest. Okay. Got VHS over here. The great Gatsby. Gatsby. This is our series. Yeah. Don't know, that's probably an American series, Berkeley Square. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Lovely, these people love to watch television, play piano. I can still imagine how these people would be inside of this house, playing away, watching television together. Must have been absolutely awesome. Even their books, their music books are still here. Mozart. Oh. Wow. I wonder who played the piano. Must have definitely been Marilyn. Marilyn, yeah. I see her as a lady that would play the piano. Oh, look at this. How would you call this room? I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I Lovely know. space where they could be in the summer when it is not boarded up. All oh, the light yeah. would fl flood in here and they could just have dinner parties, enjoy themselves in here. But now it's one big mess. Olivia, there's one more room. This side. Oh, Have a look at this. Wow. This was the reading room, the library, as you call it. We find these types of rooms a lot in Europe and the abandoned castles and manors. But this is actually the first time I found a, a room that's dedicated to reading in the United States. Absolutely love it. It's lovely. This couch has been especially placed here just to relax and read a book. You can even see there's a picture oh, of Marilyn. Wow. On top of here. She was a beautiful lady. Yeah. Looks like she didn't age. Yeah. Here it says, Miss Emily Gladstein. Hmm. Might this have been the daughter, Emily Gladstein? Probably. Yeah. But because why? That's the only name I have not seen so far. Yeah. So that's that's a clue. Like that's a clue. Lovely seat over here. A couple more Christmas cards and everything left on top of here. Miss Gladstein says on there. Happy birthday, dear Emily. 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 Yeah. And this is from Christopher. Emily was definitely the daughter Mary. of the family. Yeah. Peter, Marilyn, and Emily. Emily. Lovely wow. lamp yeah. standing on top of here. It's deteriorating, but... Of course, also a record. Why do I say of course? Because that's <laughs> a classic, yeah, classic piano. piano. And then a whole bookcase filled with lovely books to the side here. Speaking my mind. <laughs> that's a book for me. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Skeletons, dinosaurs, plant eaters, cats, of all the animals of the world are in here. There's probably a biology series, the VHS tapes yeah. for Emily when she was still in school. And this looks like her little closet, you know? Yeah. With yeah. all her favorite movies in here. These are all children's movies. They've all been left in here. As you can see, My Fair Lady is a nice one. They don't close anymore. Over the years, the yeah. wood has expanded. Now we have a lovely fireplace over here. Wow. Bro, I see something in the corner of my eye. There's sort of Ooh. a hole in the cabinet. Hidden cabinet? Have a look at that. What is that? I think that's some sort of an elevator. That goes into the basement. Oh yeah, I see. It's the a dumb elevator. waiter, bro. It's a dumb waiter, oh but it's an, it's not in the right position or not in the right place. This yeah, is not somewhere where you would receive food from the basement. Yeah, it looks like a hidden cabinet or and, something. And there's also the kitchen is over there. So, okay, let's check that out in the basement because we still have to go in the basement though. Yeah. Because I did. Yeah, we're done with this room. As you can see, 
beautiful room, also decaying up here. But let's now go into the basement and show you what's over there. Let's have a look in the basement over there and let's see what we can find over in this space of the house. And this is something very typical for the north of America. In the north of America, there are a lot of basements. In the yeah, south, but hmm? would you have your basement next to the front door? Um, we have actually the same at home, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. You have the basement directly in the hallway. Okay. It's, it's a common thing. Uh, I think it's something for northern countries of some sort. It's actually a nicely designed entrance to the basement, I would say. A bit dark. That's true, though. But they would have the light over here. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. What the sounds it makes. <laughs> Welcome inside. Are you okay? Yep, I'm okay. Yes. Thank you. Doesn't seem to be that much inside of here. The first thing I notice over here on the floor, though, is the hat of Marilyn. And she's wearing it in the picture I just showed you. Oh, yeah. This is the exact same hat. Wow. Some appliances over there. But what I'm most interested in, of course, is this device over here. A levy and pulley system that was used as sort of a dumb waiter. But I think it was used to move things up and down from the downstairs to the upstairs. Yeah, for sure. Maybe the books and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm just guessing over here. But they would have this big wheel that would turn. That's yeah, completely rusted up, of course, but... Oh, it's even not attached anymore. Yeah, it broke off. It used to be attached. Oh, this, this is the elevator, yeah? Yeah, that's the basket. That's the basket for the elevator. Oh, wait. Maybe I know what it is. What is it? For the, the laundry or something. Because normally laundries... Oh, that might be a good... Maybe there's a laundry room over there. Might this have been the laundry room? Uh, no. Not sure. I don't think so. But anyway, it's very interesting to find. It's also the first dumb waiter I found in the United States. From all the places I've explored over here. I think we're already at 50 places that we explored over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, the first dumb waiter. Awesome. Let's go to the upstairs, bro. Oh. This stairway is going to fall apart yeah. very soon. Yeah. Upstairs? It's time to wander up the spiral staircase to the top floor. Just like Emily, Marilyn and Peter used to do. Here they went to their most private part of the house, their bedrooms. And I think we were in for a treat from what I already see here in the hallway. Wow. Must have been wonderful when all the railing of the staircase was here. still in place. Yeah. Huh, Danny. This is one of the pieces of the stairway. Look oh at that. My God. It would be standing like this over here and would form the stairway. Have you seen this? Yeah. Looks like an emerald that's carved into the, the grip of an eagle. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, that's the room we saw in the picture. Yeah. Then. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna skip this for a second, but... Oh my. This was Emily, her room. With everything still in there. You can definitely see she was spoiled, for oh, sure. Oh yeah, for sure. Wow. <sighs> this, this, this room just lights up the whole house. This is like a princess room. This is what I yeah. think about what a young girl would want. Yeah. This uh, a lovely sort of heaven bed over here with hundreds of plushies at the end of it. Wow. And I even love the decoration that we have on here. And also a couple of pieces of clothing of her. Her bedrobe and a dress are still left behind here. Emily, you were the spoiled lady, but you had good parents. You definitely had. I hope you're well in life right now. Oh, wow. Look over here. 
There'll be all sorts of yeah. plushies. <laughs> wow. And wow. even our handbag is still here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wood. A koi boy wood left here at the end of the bed. That's amazing. But what I don't envy, Danny. What? Oh. Uh. How can somebody come in here and spray paint the wall of a room like this? Spray paint and literally destroy yeah. the wall. That's so sad. I'm sorry, it's I just sad. had to point it out. Yeah, but... yeah, because it's it's there, you cannot ignore you it. You cannot ignore it. Let's... let's try to... Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. A playing card set. Those are all in complete condition. I don't know why. These are big ones. I don't know how you would use it, but <laughs> it's crazy. It's to probably see. just for decoration, but it's yeah. it's crazy to see. Wow. You cannot play a game with that. Definitely. No, no, <laughs> no. And then the enormous closet that we just saw on the pictures. Oh my god! Love the design on it, the colors, the carvings, and everything. Even looks like a nutcracker up here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh! What is it? I was just looking at the dresses, look! Oh yeah, I hadn't pointed it out yet. <laughs> yeah, I no, it was the not the, the, the nutcracker. It was literally the dresses, look oh, at that. Oh, she would love to dress up. Look, a princess dress. Yeah, those like, look like a carnival. Yeah, uh, exactly, but she, I think she suit. would love to do it all the time. Yeah, wow. Literally, she was a real princess. That is amazing. Still in the plastic. Oh, Mickey Mouse. Oh, Minnie Mouse dress. Minnie. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. That's that's absolutely insane. It is. And then to this side. No, just a bunch of the empty. <laughs> then this lovely setup to this side. A couple of teddy bears. Oh. Left in front of here. We got a Bambi. And a, a mops dog, we call it in Dutch. <laughs> mops dog. It's a pug. It's a pug, yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, baby carriage. A couple of teddy bears in there. The baby carriage is amazing. I'm just gonna show it a little bit more. Looks like a vintage one. Then a miniature one. Yeah. It's iron, right? Yeah. It's completely made of iron. Everything in here is very valuable. Wow, plumbing. It's a little bit... Plumbing, it was, yeah. Yeah, these have been decaying over yeah. the years. <laughs> and then, of course, our closet over... Danny. Oh. That's the picture. Here it's made. Emily holding her little doll. Standing literally right here wow that's fascinating it's, that's absolutely it's fascinating. amazing and sad at the same time i don't know how to explain oh wow me neither all her pictures are still this is she in a choir of some sort yeah oh here wow she, she looks like a princess and here she is together with one of her horses a pony. <laughs> a pony, pony. Oh, here she was still very young, Danny. <laughs> and then she already started to dress up. Yeah. Yeah. Probably made her mother also probably love to do that. Here's the garden. Wow. Do you know what this picture is? This is the living room. That we were the just living, the, I told you that the, the one that's completely yeah. decayed? Yeah. I told you that the walls were white. Oh, wow. Yeah. And this the, is the secretary, the secretary desk we saw, and everything is still in there. Yeah, and the encavements on the wall. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Here we have another display of teddy bears, but this looks like a sort of Easter setup. Yeah. <laughs> a basket. With all the <laughs> everything's still in there. We got some bunnies back here. Even an, an egg. egg. <laughs> this amazing. is so cute. Wow. All her little artifacts are still up here. Love this one as well. The seat. 
Oh. Wow, okay. <laughs> a little picnic setup. Oh my, little forks. Little forks and spoons and everything, the cups and everything is still in there. And then she took wow, out to the is, garden and then she went to her this little bowl so house. so lovely. <laughs> and then of course her seat over here. After a day in school, she would be sitting in here reading through her children's books. Our plushies are still here. <laughs> and every room in the house had its own bathroom. Have a look at this one. Pink, of course. <laughs> Completely pink. Lovely DK in here. This was Emily, her private bathroom. Her own. Can you imagine that? She got her parents made this bathroom especially for her. Painted it. Put wallpaper on it, did everything to make her a happy child. <laughs> Even the light switch over here. Oh wow, the light switch is. It's a teacup. Yes. Wow. Let's go to the. Oh, before I go out of this room. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder Woman. Yeah. Okay. She loved to dress up. Okay, let's put this back how we found it. Okay, let's go to the next room. Okay, and now it's time for the next one. Now we first focus on the hallway as well because we haven't shown it yet. I was so amazed by going into the room of Emily that I completely skipped the artifacts that are left here in the hallway. But they also look like they have been set up by Emily of some sort. Look at that. A rocking chair over here. Some more plushies in there. Then a little display piece over here. These are the same pictures of Emily in her wizard outfit. <laughs> And even a unicorn down here. It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> oh, Danny. The chassis long. The small chassis long with an Easter bunny on there. Have you ever seen such a small one? No. Oh, we normally see these chassis longs in big manors and castles in France, but then they are way bigger. Okay, sir, you can go in front of me. Thank you. I believe this was also a children's room. They had more children than only Emily, but most of them moved out. Emily was a late child and uh, she lived here together with her parents. Okay, these two lovely beds still made. This <laughs> the bed sheet looks like a basket on top of there. Yeah. Pillows at the end, and also the paint slowly falling from the ceiling up there, decaying. I love the gold color in there. And then the cabinet, the drawers in between there. With this book on top of here, the pathway of life. What's this book about? I don't know. Might be something religious, right? Perhaps. The pathway of life. Yeah, it looks like this is some sort of a religious book. To the woman of America. It says on there. Wow. Interactive guide to the pyramids of ancient Egypt. Probably a uh, 3D model of a pyramid that the children could build themselves. This bed has been slowly decaying and falling apart over to that side. Small suitcase, maybe from Emily, maybe from some other child that lived in this house. Republic of China postage. Wow. It's lovely. And then the hats hanging on the side of the bed. Also still here. 
Look at this lovely built-in cabinet. This is a built-in one. This is not, you cannot attach this. This is part of the house. But everything that is in here, all these miniature fruits and cans and everything. You even have some small farm animals in here. <laughs> Look at this shoe. You think this was a real children's shoe? Is no, <laughs> no. It's that's too small, toy. right? Yeah, that's a toy. I have no children, so I have no clue how small <laughs> this the feet of a child is. There's another one down here. Absolutely lovely. Oh, look at this dollhouse that we have over here. This looks like an old American Victorian house. What does it say Paris. on it? Paris. Ah, uh, oh yeah, of course. A manor in France. Yeah. A manor in France. No, of course it cannot be an American house because it's made of stone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> True. True. Most American houses are all made of wood. This one as well. Every single house is made yeah. out of wood. And while I was knocking on the wallpaper, just have a look at the wallpaper. Absolutely amazing wallpaper. Love the flowers in there. There are a couple more rooms behind here as well, Danny. See, we have a bathroom for that room as well. Every single room, like I told you, had its own bathroom. Everybody in the house. Here's another sitting area. Completely destroyed, completely. Oh my God. Yeah, it's terrible. This house is enormous. Yeah, it keeps, keeps going, and going, going and going and going. Look at that, there's even another bathroom in there. I'm not going in depth on those. I just saw this picture lying here on the floor. I really adore Emily on the Chassé Long. Wow. Look at that. And here you have a picture at Christmas time. Why, why these colors for yeah, the so, ma so many colors, red? I don't understand blue. the choices. I think Emily made the choices. <laughs> <laughs> mommy, mommy, I want the house to be cold. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the laundry room of Marilyn. Everything also. Oh, oh, so Jesus, much things in here. So much, so much stuff. Even our pearls are still left behind. Jeez. Put this back nicely. Okay. Let's go to the next section of the house. Oh, and here is that stairway that leads into the kitchen area downstairs. I actually really like this stairway as well, the design of it. It's quite yeah. beautiful. It is, just not the color. <laughs> I love the iron work that we have in the stairway. And then we end up again in the beautiful hallway, the centerpiece of this upstairs. And there are a couple more rooms and a couple more corridors that we've got to go through. I already see a wonderful room right in front of me here. Oh my gosh. This does not look like a master bedroom because these are two separate beds. I think we still have to encounter the master bedroom. But what a wonderful piece inside of the house here. I love this little sitting setup here. This piece of furniture standing here. It's the same piece of furniture, furnishing as the ones we saw in the hallway just a second ago. Flowers everywhere. The people in the house, they loved nature and flowers. They loved gardening. Probably their garden used to look magnificent back in the time. And then the two beds, of course. I love that they are still made in perfect condition. Again, you can see the 10 years of abandonment with the paint lying on top of the bed sheets. Ooh, colorful pillows everywhere. What are these? Oh, this is all, all just pieces of decoration, yeah. Okay. <laughs> A basket of flowers, flowers, Danny. Oh, that's so lovely. I can definitely see the owners of the house walking around the neighborhood or the gardens with this basket, collecting flowers, and then putting the flowers throughout the house. That's what I, what I would have done. A bunny in here. 
And I also love to travel. We get a poster over here from South Africa for information. These were, of course, very wealthy people back in the time. And uh, they love to travel the world, perhaps. Again, I think this also used to be a children's room. We can see this drawer over here with all the knickknacks of the children, the form, and everything is still in here. The dolls are still down below. These look again like those picnic baskets. Yeah. We saw in Emily's room. More children's books in here as well. Look at all the knickknacks up here. Isn't that fascinating? <sighs> and then the rusted up mirror right above this all. The door has a built in mirror. We don't have. I didn't actually never see this in Europe before. Did you ever see this, this type of design before? With the mirror yeah, in there? Uh, normally, the mirror is inside of the closet. Ah. And you open the closet doors, at least in Portugal. Yeah. I, I don't see this at, at all in Europe, like in other European countries. And then, of course, over here, we also have the bathroom. Everything's still left in there. Oh, I mean, like, all the <laughs> bedroom things are in the bedroom. <laughs> Lovely. The curtains are still hanging. It's also decaying away. Ooh. If you touch it, it just crumbles. Okay. Wow. I'm loving this house, Danny. I'm absolutely loving it. Even though the, this very sad story, this is one of the best houses we've filmed in the United States so far. With all the things left in here. Here we come into another room. Very bright wallpaper again. Pink. Uh, pink woodwork, pink painting everywhere. And I think this also might have been a bedroom at some point, but you can see oh, the whole ceiling has collapsed on the floor. The plushies are between the rubble. And everything is still in there. Have a look at this. Can I show the people? Yeah. You even have this little cabinet here to the side. A lovely big cabinet and at the bottom of it, all the plushies, all the teddy bears are left. And this room has a balcony. Wow, overlooking the mountainside at the end. Oh, I have to be careful in here. I don't think this is very st stable at all. No. It's also very wet because it rained a couple of days ago and everything got wet inside of the house. Another corridor leading us further. We have a compartment underneath the stairway where Emily stored more of her things. You can see all the children's books behind there. Okay. Ooh. This one, also a storage unit. Yeah, 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 that's it. This is definitely the master bedroom of the place. You can see that, Danny, immediately you can see that. Oh, you know what? What? This is the picture where Peter was lying on the bed. That's the bed. Oh yeah, it's the same bed. That's yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. the same bed. Wow. Oh. Yeah, exactly the same after the decay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. This is all part of the ceiling. <laughs> I shouldn't touch that. Yeah, don't touch it. All insulation from the ceiling. That's pretty creepy that the doll is still lying here at the end of the bed. But they had a lovely master bedroom, I would say. Oh. You can still see there's a picture lying there on top of the fireplace. Is this the same room? No, it can be. Yes, it is. Yeah. See the mirror, the window, two windows down there. It's the exact same room. But then with a heaven bed inside of it. What? Oh, wow, what a transformation. It, it really is. It really yeah. is the same room. What a transformation. <laughs> oh my God. This picture, no, it has no date on it, unfortunately. But that's insane. Like, I think the room looked way better 
back oh, then. Oh, white, yeah. Way better. Like these colors that we have here on the fireplace, for example, are yeah, ugly. Yeah, the fireplace. The door, the door, blue. I don't understand <laughs> the Me choices neither. they made in here. Me neither. Also, it would have been lovely when the fireplace was still running and the people were lying here in bed, drinking probably perhaps a glass of wine of some sort, just enjoying each other. Everything is also still in here. All that clothing. Oh, come have a look, Danny. This is their walk-in closet. All their shoes, all Peter's shoes. They're also still left in here. Wow, insane ride. And then to the end of here, we also have their bathroom. Completely painted in pink. I think Marilyn was like the same as Emily. She also loved all these oh, yeah. princess things and, and, and pink and everything. If yeah. You, yeah, if you dress up your daughter, you must like Absolutely. fantasy stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. What a place. So we've got one last place of the house still to go, and that's the attic. Let's go over there right now. Oh, watch out, Danny. Don't yeah, look. I'm. He's trying to walk backwards and make a cool shot, but it's very difficult. Yeah, I can. Okay. See, the, the shot is cool, though. Yeah, the shot is cool. <laughs> Last section of the house. I'm ready for it. Let's do it. Up the stairway to the attic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're already seeing... Oh my... This is like a horror's attic. Oh, yeah. M Marilyn definitely loved to buy things. Maybe also Peter. I'm not gonna generalize over here, but uh, most stuff in here seems for ladies. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> be careful, be careful. Yeah, I'm walking here on the side of the stairway, but all the way through here to the back, it's filled with stuff, literally filled. You can see wallpapers over there, furniture, everything is in here. Wow. So, I, I, we cannot get to the other side. No. It's so No, I'm not going to do that. Stuff. Somebody also had an exercise bike in here. I have to watch out because I'm literally standing behind the opening of the attic. Make one wrong move. I will be on the downstairs floors. Look at this pile of stuff that's left here. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry, Danny. You cannot do anything about that. So much stuff. I'm trying to walk slowly. Yeah. And the whole roof is like caving in and falling apart. Can I show the outside from here? Oh, we have to... Yeah. Look at that. You can literally stand outside of the building and enjoy the view over the mountainside over here. Isn't that just wonderful to see? Whole seal, whole roof is completely caving in. <laughs> okay, stand it back. There you go, bro. Ooh. Yes. Come, can you come over here? Is uh, that a possibility? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna okay, try. you can hand me the camera if you no, want. No, no, I, I think I can. Okay. Wanted to show a couple more things in here. For example, the rabbit cages we have over here. So they housed a lot, a lot of animals inside of this house. Absolutely sad, I would say. On the outside of the place again, what a lovely day over here. I'm really enjoying it. And I'm also very glad that we got to film this place. Even though it was one of the saddest stories we've ever told on this channel, I really enjoyed going through this abandoned mansion and I'm glad we did it. 
Peter and Marilyn, I think, still think you are horrible people, but Emily, for you, I wish you the very best in life. I hope you got on your feet again after your parents went to prison. And I hope you see this video and this is a reminder of you how your life used to be. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching this week's video. If you liked it, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're near here and hit that bell notification button. And also write me a nice comment in the comment section. Danny, thank you for helping me you're film. You're welcome. Danny's link is in the description as well. Thank you. And there's one more thing. We have a Patreon link in the description there. You can support the channel and help us travel around this beautiful world. Everybody, I see you next week in another epic exploration. Bye-bye. I love you. Ah. <sighs>